Hey, what's going on YouTube? Another YouTube video for you guys as usual, and I'm going to get into another, uh, what was it? <laughs> my viewer, um, my viewer's comment. Uh, his name is Super Saiyan Snap, and he asked me this a day ago, and, uh, I was actually sick yesterday, so I couldn't answer it, even though I already commented about your, uh, question. He asked me, or just told me, you should make you should do a video on how people misuse the word hype beast. Now, I mean, in my view, I'm not really full aware of the whole word of hype beast, but I can at least somewhat generalize it into some sense. Uh, in my view, I think a hype beast really is just someone who gets into a trend, uh, such as a uh, diamond obey. Uh, Crooks and Castles, Air Jordans, or something like that, gets into some hype, buys whatever that, like, what's always going to be trending. For example, Air Jordan Retro 3, the 88 that came out, if everybody's, if everybody just buys it, that would be the hype, because every single person is getting their hands on it, especially when it, came, when it comes to, like, Diamond, I've, no, like, I have actually had some comments uh, previously about uh, the diamond clothing video I made and people are, uh, are like just being they're not listening pretty much I'm sorry if I can misconstrue my words it's just that I'm making a raw video I don't want any cuts but um I'm, I'll probably get that later on to a different video uh, but for Super Saiyan Snap I think people in in general misuse the word hype beast because here's the thing if you like something like you really like it not because somebody else likes it and you just don't follow the trend I give you props because most people out there they really just get into something and they don't really like it for what it is they just pretty much follow the trend what that other people like and me personally I mean I like Air Jordan 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s, and Spizx. And just because I buy it doesn't mean I'm a hype beast. I mean, I actually have a few Jordans, but I don't really splurge all the time on just Air Jordans. I mean, Air Jordans are like 160 to $200 per pair. And I don't, like, even though I have money to spend on that, I'm not going to buy, like, every single one even though I like it like if I was a millionaire I'd probably buy it but I'm not so I mean people really misuse the word hype beast because people think and generalize uh, thinking that they are for example if you wear diamond clothing brand obey like if you wear a diamond snapback obey hoodie uh, obey jeans and air Jordans some people might think you're a hype beast but I mean I wouldn't really know I just would assume and that's not good because you shouldn't assume and generalize or judge but I mean it is what it is so I mean if you guys looked at me and you saw my kind of fashion in well you've already seen my fashion but I mean in person then you would probably be like oh he he's not a hype beast he actually does wear some shoes I've never seen before or he just likes fashion in general and I have a couple of Jordans and some other like shoes that no one's ever worn. Not the the majority of people who wear it though. Uh, for example, I have Nike Air Flight 89s, the ones I've been wearing mostly in my previous fitted days. I've never seen a lot of people out there wear it. Uh, today when I was at work and I got out of work and I went to Quick Check to get some food. I saw this guy, this uh, really tall guy, and he, he had the same kind of shoes I had. Uh, Nike Air Flight uh, 89 ones, the gray, white, and black one. And that's one person out of like like hundreds of people that would assume that would have it, but they don't have it. And I mean, that's what I like. If I like a shoe, I'll buy it. If it doesn't look good to me and it doesn't look nice at all, I won't buy it. And to, to answer the question, pretty much, uh, Super Saiyan Snap, I mean, if people call you a hype beast and you know you're not a hype beast, then just explain it to them. And if they don't really want to listen, they don't then don't really give a shit about their opinion at all. 
Because if you explain yourself and they don't even care, then there's no point in caring about their opinion at all. Because I've noticed most people out there who have like diamond clothing brand or like Obey or uh, Crooks and Castles. I mean, this is what I would assume because I mean, the clothing is expensive. The snapbacks are expensive and I just wouldn't, I really just wouldn't buy it at all. But if you have the money and you want to splurge on it, then go ahead. Whether you are spoiled or you actually work hard for your money, then go ahead and do it. It's your money. I'm not going to give a shit at all. It's your money. So, I mean, that's pretty much what I have to say for uh, your question or ask. Because a lot of people just really misconstrue the situation when it comes to the word hype beast misuse it as to say because I mean I think you can all get a sense of people wearing it and to me it's not special at all because everybody wears it and I in my view in my eyes I see if a person wears this and another person wears the same thing and and you see more people wear it it's not special it's not original anymore if someone wears it it's pretty much like a copy or a clone and I don't want to see a clone that's like it's pretty much like the same as school uniforms everybody's gonna be wearing the same thing it's not it's not anything special you just look the same and everyone's gonna be like oh he's cool he has a nice fashion sense but he's he's like the same person like the other guy and I don't want that I want to be different and unique I don't want to be the same so yeah why would I do that um but I guess that's somewhat I guess answers for your video for your question Super Saiyan Snap I'm sorry if I didn't get too into it. If I did miss something, then you can gladly like correct me in a way. You can leave it in the comment section below. I'll read it. But um, this is your video for you because you asked me this and you wanted me to make a video about it. So yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on it. Uh, but if you're a hype beast and you really and you actually, what do you say? You're, you take pride in being a hype beast. Go ahead. I don't give a shit. <laughs> It's your money. Just waste the money if you fucking want. I don't really care. So, I mean, yeah. If you guys have any other suggestions or anything you want me to talk about, leave it in the comment section below. I'll read it. I, I read all my comments. And I actually do get a handful of comments every single day. So, I actually do appreciate it when you viewers out there actually take time and time in your day to actually comment. So, yeah. I'll talk more lately if you guys want me to talk more about vlogs. I'm sorry that I'm not making a lot more fit of the days. It's just that I don't have a lot to put on, especially in this kind of weather, because I've already mostly wore most of what I have in my closet. So, and I haven't been buying a lot of clothing because it, it's pointless, really. It's just material. So, I I might buy some things here and there, but I won't splurge. <laughs> I used I I splurged a lot. If you watch my past vlogs you will notice I splurge a lot so um yeah there's some things I regret buying too so don't think I just buy this shit for the hell of it uh so hey that's pretty much the video for you guys for you Super Saiyan Snap that's pretty much the whole video so hope you enjoyed it comment subscribe favorite if you like to show it your friends if you like the video why not give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys soon and I'm sorry it's a long vlog so yeah